Does it have a pump? Yes, it has a pump. Okay, y'all. So I went in Sephora this morning. Like it's still morning. I'm trying to do a wear test on this foundation. So we got the new NARS foundation. And I also picked up a couple more things. So let me show you what I got real quick and then we will get into the foundation. So I went ahead and grabbed another box of these Dennis, um, Dr. Dennis Gross Gross. These are the extra strength peeling pads and I love, love, love them. So this is like a 30 day treatment. So I went ahead and ippied the ones that I have, um, the ones that I had and I had to get another box of those because they've been really, really, really good on my skin. And I went ahead and grabbed one of these Fenty Beauty body butters. This is like the little travel size. I think this will be perfect for um, traveling. And also Fenty Beauty has a new gloss bomb. This is in the shade Lemon Lava. So we're gonna test this out today. And I also got, so this wasn't in store, but I literally just got this at the door. Like it came right on time because I was about to film this video. Um, this is the Danessa Myricks Dewy Cheek and Lip Palette. So I ordered this online. I don't know if they have it. Well, they didn't have it in store when I went this morning to look for the foundation. But yeah, it's the uh, do, 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 do It Undercover Cheek and Lip Palette. So I want to use this today too. We're going to test out a couple of things and then the NARS foundation. So I got the shade Macau. This is what I usually use in all the other, um, all the other foundations. And I'm very, very, very curious about this foundation. Like I wonder if it's going to be anything similar to the sheer glow. I wanted to get another sheer glow, but they didn't have my shade in store. When I got to, um, when I went to go get this, and the only other one that I have in my collection is the soft matte. I know that's not going to be anything similar to this, but when I first saw this foundation, I immediately thought about the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. So let me go ahead and pull up the information on this really quick. Um, so yeah, it's called the Light Reflecting Advanced Skincare Foundation. It says it's an advanced makeup skincare hybrid foundation with a natural finish that quickly blurs and smooths while visibly improving skin's clarity over time. Um, the coverage is medium, the finish is natural, and yeah, so let's put her on the skin. I don't want this video to be super duper long. We're really just focusing on the foundation. So the plan is to have it on for a good amount of time. So that way I can really see how it wears throughout the day, see how it looks, see how the finish is. But yes, girl. So this is one fluid ounce and I am excited. Does it have a pump? Yes, it has a pump. It has a pump. So ooh, really quickly, let me go ahead and do my brows. I went ahead and primed the skin. I used the Fenty Mattifying Primer. And I also have SPF on the skin, which is the Peter Thomas Roth um, SPF moisturizer, which I'm always using. But let me do my brows really, really fast. And then we will go ahead and apply the foundation. All right, let's give it a little shake. It sounds really liquidy, so... I want to make sure that I shake it up really good. And we're using the Sonya, not Sonya, I was about to say Sonya, the um, DSMD Shop Beauty Sponge. And I'm going to take, actually, let me take it on my hand first. Yeah, it's really runny. So there it is. I'm going to do one more pump. So from those few little squirts, the consistency kind of reminds me of the soft matte foundation, the NARS soft matte, because it's pretty thin and runny. And y'all, I haven't worn, okay, I'm gonna have to get some more of that foundation on my hand. I have not worn the, um, the sheer glow in, so long so I ran out and I just didn't purchase any more but I totally forgot like I that's my favorite well one of my favorite NARS foundations it was first foundation I've tried from NARS oh my gosh y'all this is looking pretty like really pretty and natural Ooh. But yeah, the NARS Sheer Glow was the first foundation I've tried. And 
I wish that I got it so I can kind of give you guys a comparison. Because I don't, wait. I might have to take you guys over to the window later um, once I finish my makeup so y'all can, you know, see it in natural light. And I also want to see if there's any, like, is there any shimmer in this? I don't see any shimmer. Because when they say light reflecting, I'm like, I instantly think of uh, shimmer. It says, see your skin in its best light. Light reflecting foundation instantly diffuses light to blur the imperfections and smooth the look of skin. Okay, so yeah, there's no shimmer in this. <laughs> so it's supposed to make your skin look really pretty and radiant. And the lights, oh, I am gonna have to go over. Y'all, this is looking so pretty. I'm gonna take y'all over there to the window so we can get in the natural light. I also wanna point out that when you're using a sponge, it's gonna soak up a lot of the product so it is like it's not giving me full coverage but I mean this foundation is a medium coverage not a full coverage but just keep that in mind if you are wanting a little bit more of a coverage on the skin just maybe use a brush or blend it in with your hands but I personally like a sponge Wow, look at the skin, y'all. This looks so natural, law, natural girl. Look at this. I am liking it. So I don't know if I wanna do another layer of this because I really like, you know, just this one layer. Do I wanna do another layer to see if it builds? Yeah, let's see if it builds, but I like this. Like this is what I would wear normally but if i want more coverage um i would build it up but let's just see how it looks with a little bit more of the foundation mm. yeah so it does build Looks nice. All right there. And I'm gonna bring some up here too. Okay, this is a pretty foundation. I feel like NARS, like they just always get it, you know? They always get it. Okay, my mic was so far away this whole time. I hope the audio wasn't too low. But yeah, this is how she is looking. The color is perfect. The finish is beautiful, it's natural. And I mean, you don't have to go in with that second layer like I did, but I do like how, I like how it looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and quickly do the rest of my face. I will just speed through this process because um, a lot of you guys like to see me do my makeup, so I'm not going to do anything different. I feel like I'm always doing the same thing when it comes down to my routine, but I'll make sure to have all the products that I'm using down below in the description if you are um, wondering what I'm using. So let me just go ahead and finish up and then I will come back. I'm not going to do anything crazy. It's just going to be my usual everyday makeup routine.
Now, before I, um, cause I'm pretty much almost done, but I want to do a first impression on the Danessa Myricks, uh, cheek and lip palette and also the new Fenty, the new shade in the Fenty gloss bomb. But before I do that, what do we think about the skin y'all? How are we feeling? How do we feel about this foundation? Now I know I haven't worn it all day. I know I literally just put it on, but I am liking it. So now the powder I decided to use today was the Dior Powder No Powder simply because this doesn't look like you have on powder. It's very light, very airy, and that's what I wanted to um, pair on top of the NARS foundation because I really wanted this to be the main focus on the face. I was going to use my Makeup Forever powder, but this gives you coverage, and I didn't want that on top of the NARS foundation. At least not right now because I'm just doing a first impression and I want to see how the foundation looks, how it wears, how it, you know, you know. So um, I'll probably use this later on once I start wearing this foundation more, but it's looking good. What do you think? I think it looks good. So now let's try out the Danessa Myricks Lip and Cheek Palette. So they have two palettes. I got the deeper one. The more nudes, browns, y'all know I love that type of color, so I went with that. The other palette is more pinky looking. This is, uh, yeah, Do It Undercover is what this one is called. So let me open it. Um, Since I have the Fenty Gloss Balm, I'm not going to put this on my lips because I really want to see what the gloss bomb looks like I honestly feel like that's just gonna look like a clear gloss on my lips um but I don't know I kind of want to put this on the lips but then again I'm like uh let's do Fenty Ooh, she is cute really cute okay so I think I want to use I want something really neutral for this look because it's like so you know, natural. <laughs> so I think I want to go, let's try this shade first. And if this doesn't work, I'm going to layer it with this color right here. So I usually like to use a, um, where did it go? I probably should just get another one. No, I'm just going to stick with this. I usually like to use my sponge and my sponge is always damp every time I use it. So I'm just gonna take it, kind of pinch it a little bit and go into, actually wait, let me swatch these for you guys. Yeah, let's do some swatches first. So y'all can see how they look. Okay, so it's not um, as pigmented as I thought it would be. It's kind of sheer, but let's see what the swatches look like once I, yeah, so the darker ones are um, more pigmented than the lighter ones, but let's swatch it. Pretty, these will make really cute lip colors or if you want to put it on the cheeks, anywhere you want to put it, but these are pretty cute. So I said I was I said I was gonna use this color right here, but I feel like you won't see that on me. So let's go in with the shade before the last one. I think that color, the second color, would look really pretty as a natural lip color. So I might do that and then layer it with the Fenty Gloss Balm. But first, let me let me wipe my hand off. All right, let's do this one. And I'm gonna take the sponge and kind of pinch it and go in it like this. Pick up some of that color and then I'll just tap it on my cheeks. Just like this. Oh, this color is pretty. See, I like using a sponge instead of a brush because it just makes it look so much better. Look at, oh, that's so cute. That is so cute. It just makes it look so much better when I use a sponge. So, doing it over here. And I've been wearing a lot of blush lately. Y'all, this is pretty. 
look at that and since this is a cream i'm gonna have to set it um and i'm gonna go over it with the blush i've been using recently which is my chanel blush i think that color the color of my chanel blush is gonna be good with this like the color that i'm using now so because it's not gonna really take away from the color and plus the chanel blush is really sheer so if you haven't seen it um, I did share it in one of my recent videos, but if you haven't seen it, let me show you what I'm talking about. This blush right here is called um, Bron Rossi. Rossi? Rossi? I'm always butchering that name, but this is what it looks like. So I'm just going to go over it lightly with um, a blush, uh, a brush. <laughs> that way I can set. Oh, this is freaking gorgeous. Okay, this is gorgeous. Mm, mm, mm. I like it. So let me set it real quick and then we're gonna try out the gloss bomb. This brush is Sonia Kashuk from Target. I'm just tapping it on top. I'm not taking too much, just enough to at least set my cheeks. And that's good enough right there. Look at y'all i just love like the subtle glow that the blush gives all right so we are done with the i think we're done are we done with this do y'all want me to let's let's just do it let's just freaking do it i'm gonna take my finger and go to um oh so they have the shades on the back so the lighter shade is called hush hush the one next to it is called Nude Etude, and then Waffle Flower is the shade that we applied on the cheeks today, and then Top Secret is the darker one. So if you're not into these type of shades, then I think you'll like the one, um, the palette that has more of those brighter pinks. But let's go in with Nude Etude, this shade, and I want to put it on the lips. I feel like this color yep it's like there but it's not too much oh this is perfect wow okay this color is perfection I just hate that I have to dip my finger in I mean I could use like a a brush or something to dip it in but for now, I'm just using my finger, but y'all look at this color. Look how perfect it goes with the makeup. Wow. Honestly, I would even wear this when I'm not wearing makeup. Wow, this is cute. Wow, okay. Um let's go over it with the fenty gloss bomb and then i'm going to show you guys what it looks like without anything on the lips so i'm going to take this off i should have did this first and then did this it's cool it's whatever we're just playing in freaking makeup but let me put this on top and then i will show y'all what um this looks so the shade is called lemon lava yeah i'll show oh this is cute it's like a soft gold it's not like too gold though. It's just a soft lemony yellow color. Oh, this is the Gloss Bomb Heat. So this is supposed to give you, um, I don't think I mentioned that in the beginning, but there is the swatch. And I'm gonna take my finger cause I don't wanna mess up the applicator. I'm gonna use what I just put on my, thing, um, my hand and just go over my lips with it. This just pretty much amps up the lip. Like it just, it looks like I put on a clear gloss, but if you look really, really close, you will see the gold shimmer. This is cute. And this is gonna give your lips that slight tingle sensation. It's not like super duper strong like the um, the Too Faced lip injections, those are like 
really, really, really tingly, but it's just a slight tingle on the lips. It's not, you know, crazy annoying, but I like it. So let me take this off and then um, I will show y'all what this looks like by itself. If you are not wanting to pair it with anything, I'm going to wipe this off. Yeah, I feel like if you put a little bit more on, you can see more of the gold shimmer. Let me put a little bit. But, I mean, it just looks clear to me. It's like a clear gloss, but it's cute. It's really, really cute. All right, so yeah, I am going to go ahead and end the video here. Well, not the whole video, because I want to do a wear test, so you guys will see me come back. Um, but... I guess I'll go ahead and try to film some more content while I have the makeup done for today. Just get some things done for today anyway. But yeah, this is how it looks before <laughs> we wear it for the entire day. And I think the skin looks really, 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 y'all, I am here for the cheeks. <laughs> I am here for them. Um, but yeah, girl, let me get what I need to get done done and you guys will see me later on so don't go away <laughs> you know what I just realized I did not tell y'all the time so I think I sat down around 10 45 ish I started doing my face around them because I went to Sephora at 10 o'clock like right when they opened got here turn the lights on, turn the camera on. So I think I sat down around 10.45. Yeah, we're gonna say 10.45. <laughs> and then I will check back with you guys later on so y'all can see the skin. Oh, let me show you guys what it looks like in natural light. So here's a clip right here so you can see the skin in the sun. And I think, well, I don't know how it looks. I'm doing a voiceover right now, but by the time I have this up, hopefully it looks good. <laughs> but here's a clip so y'all can see what it looks like um so yeah girl let me go ahead and do what i gotta do today and then i will check back with you guys later on so i'm back it is the end of the day it's 5 22 i'm about to go ahead and post this video well once i put this clip in but i wanted to sit right in front of a window before the sun goes all the way down um so this is all natural light and i want you guys to see the skin it still looks fresh and glowy and i love it um let me get closer so y'all can see. Oops, I just sat on my phone, but so I reapplied a little bit of lip gloss and yeah, cause I was eating and stuff. But I think the skin looks good. As far as how it feels, it feels like I don't have any makeup on to be completely honest like it doesn't feel heavy it doesn't look heavy it's just a nice everyday foundation and remember I told you guys earlier the way I would wear it so when I put the first layer on that's honestly and truly how I would wear the foundation like I don't think going forward I'm gonna layer it with another layer because I feel like I don't need it um if I want extra coverage I can I can just go in with my Makeup Forever setting powder, but let me know what you think. Do you like it? Do you like the finish? Are you gonna grab it? If you already grabbed it, did you test it out? What are your thoughts on it? Let me know. But that is all that I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give me a huge thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already, and I'll see you guys in my next one.